Well, epilepsy is a chronic condition. And uh, the best way to describe it is when the brain gets uh, like a short circuit and it basically causes a problem, a dysfunction, a disconnection, a network issue. And by causing that, then give you that clinical symptoms, loss of awareness, confusion, you could hurt yourself. Vagus nerve stimulator is a pacemaker uh, that is designed to help control seizures. It sends a signal, and by sending a signal and using the highway, the bypass is the vagus nerve. And you send a signal to the vagus nerve, and the vagus nerve will be sending that signal back to the brain, which at the end of the day is going to change the brain function. It's going to disrupt those connections and stop seizures and improve the quality of life. This new technology allows the old device the benefits of the newest and most advanced technology with less side effects and less risk for the patient. If we could put it this way, yeah. what about if you have an iPhone 7 and we don't have to buy an iPhone 14? We just plug a little device that will give you the same technology, the same pictures, the same apps, and all this benefit that technology will bring to you. Well, this is the same situation. Unfortunately, those patients that were implanted, implanted very early, they had, there was a different, a different technology, very simple. Uh, clearly, we had advanced in more than 20 years the same way that we had changed our phones, we change devices. The old wiring system becomes incompatible with the latest technology. And to bypass this problem and make it safer for the patient, then they created this dual technology. It's using the old wiring with the latest technology. In the past, the only way to fix this was to remove the old system and put a new one. That's a lot more complicated for the patient. It's more risky. There is more healing involved. Now we can just go back and replace the generator. A quick outpatient surgery. Very simple.